Hello, Dolphins fans. Let's get to the story of the week, the quarterback situation. It's no secret that things are tough, and Mike McDaniel may be ready to shake things up. After Skylar Thompson suffered a chest injury against the Seahawks, McDaniel was pretty tight-lipped about when Thompson will return, saying he's day-to-day. -day. That's right. There's no guarantee that Thompson will suit up for Monday night's matchup with the Titans. Before we get into today's big news, enjoy this video and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Miami Dolphins updates. You won't want to miss any of it. Here's where things get interesting. McDaniel dropped a hint during his last press conference, suggesting that Tyler Huntley could start. While he didn't rule out Thompson playing, the fact that Huntley's name even came up is a big deal. Huntley, who has been getting more familiar with the Dolphins system in recent weeks, brings a different dynamic to the table. He's more mobile, has some NFL experience, and may be a better fit than Thompson and Tim Boyle. With his ability to extend plays and give wide receivers like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle time to get open, it's no wonder some fans are already calling for Huntley to start in prime time. The quarterback carousel doesn't stop there. Tua Tagovailoa remains on the back burner, still waiting to get back on the field. He's scheduled to meet with neurologists soon, but until then, the Dolphins need to find a way to win without him. So the big question is, do you back Huntley? He's shown flashes of athleticism and intelligence, and with a few more practices under his belt, he could be the spark Miami needs to get back on track. Now I want to hear from you, Dolphins fans. Should McDaniel give Huntley the nod on Monday night? Or do you think we stick with Thompson if he's healthy? Now, let's talk about what happened in week three. There's no way to sugarcoat it. Our general manager Chris Greer just got schooled by what many people consider the worst organization in the NFL, the Carolina Panthers. Yes, you heard me right. The Dolphins, a team with playoff aspirations, were outplayed by a team that has been dealing with dysfunction for years. Not a good look, Dolphins fans. Let's break it down. We all know that the most important position on any NFL team is the quarterback. For over two decades, the Dolphins have looked to the QB for their answer, and Greer has been part of that front office mess for far too long. Here we are in 2024, and we're still dealing with this issue. Tua Tagovailoa is our guy, but let's be real, he has a long history of injuries. Yet, the Dolphins decided to skimp when it came to a backup. And now, it's blowing up in our faces. Last Sunday against the Seahawks, with Skylar Thompson running the show, the Dolphins' offense was lifeless. We couldn't move the ball, we couldn't score, and it was painful to watch. Meanwhile, what was going on in Carolina? Backup quarterback Andy Dalton was filling in for the injured Bryce Young and throwing three touchdown passes, leading the Panthers to their first win of the year against the Raiders. Yes, Andy Dalton, a veteran QB who could have been a backup in Miami, was out there proving his worth while we struggled to score. And the excuses? Oh, Greer has plenty of them. The Seahawks crowd was loud. Our receivers are hurt. Tua was healthy all last season. But excuses aren't going to solve the glaring problem we're facing right now. The Dolphins simply don't have a reliable backup quarterback, and that's Greer's fault. It's not just Dalton. In week three, three other NFL teams started backup quarterbacks, and they all won. The Packers, for example, knew Jordan Love was hurt, so what did they do? They went out and traded for Malik Willis over the summer. They made sure they had a solid plan B. Meanwhile, the Dolphins were stuck with Thompson, Tim Boyle, and Tyler Huntley, none of whom inspire much confidence. Let's be real here, a good backup QB is essential in today's NFL. The Dolphins don't have a good backup. Heck, we don't even have a serviceable one. Thompson? No other team would have him on their roster. Boyle? He went unclaimed when he was cut. Huntley? Cut by the Browns and ended up on the Ravens practice squad before coming to us. And yet, the Dolphins are spending big money elsewhere. We shelled out big money for Tua, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and Jalen Ramsey. We paid top dollar for Taron Armstead, who, by the way, can't stay healthy. But we can't seem to find the budget for a decent backup quarterback. It's no wonder we're in this mess, and it's no wonder Mike McDaniel is at post-game press conferences trying to explain our failures. The Dolphins have gambled big on Tua this season, counting on him to stay healthy and lead this team to greatness. So far, that gamble hasn't paid off. 
Meanwhile, Carolina, a team with its own issues, has proven the value of having a veteran backup like Dalton. It's a bad look for Greer, no doubt. All right, Dolphins fans, let me hear what you think. Should Greer have been more aggressive in finding a capable backup quarterback? Or do you think we'll just work things out with Thompson or Huntley in the meantime? Another thorn in the side is being talked about even by Adam Schefter. The Dolphins need a season-saving quarterback. And he's not alone in thinking so. It's becoming painfully obvious to everyone in the league. Miami has a major problem at QB. But somehow, the Dolphins' front office, especially Chris Greer, seems to be dragging its feet when it comes to addressing this pressing need. Look, we've all seen it. Miami's quarterback room has been a question mark all season. Whether it's injuries or underperformance, the situation has gone from bad to worse. Schefter, speaking on the Pat McAfee show, didn't hold back. He stressed that while he doesn't have insider knowledge of any phone calls or potential moves, he's confident, like the rest of us, that something needs to be done. So who does Schefter think the Dolphins should pursue? He mentioned three names, Denver's Zach Wilson, Pittsburgh's Russell Wilson and Cleveland's Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Of the three, Russell Wilson is by far the most experienced. We all know what he's capable of from his Super Bowl days with the Seahawks. But let's be real, he hasn't exactly shined in Pittsburgh. Still, his resume speaks for itself. He could bring leadership and stability to a position that desperately needs both. As for Dorian Thompson-Robinson, he has potential, but he's not what Miami needs right now. He's a project, and the Dolphins need someone who can win right now. The last thing we need is another developing QB who might struggle under pressure. And then there's Zach Wilson. He's been up and down, but he has a strong arm and the athleticism that could potentially thrive in Mike McDaniel's system. Still, he's a gamble, and with the Dolphins' playoff hopes hanging by a thread, they need more certainty than potential right now. Schefter even floated an idea that's been floating around among fans, bringing back Ryan Tannehill. Now, we all know how his time in Miami ended, and Tannehill himself has made it clear that he doesn't want to be a backup. But if Miami could offer him a real chance to start, this could be a reunion that actually makes sense. The problem? Tannehill's asking price is probably sky high, and would the Dolphins be willing to pay that much to get him back? The truth is, Miami has a serious dilemma on its hands. With four crucial weeks ahead, the Dolphins can't afford to waste any time. If they don't make a move soon, this season could slip away, and fast. So, what do you think, Dolphins fans? Should the Dolphins go after one of the QB Schefter mentioned, or should they look for something else? And how do you feel about a potential Tannehill return? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Dolphins news. Let's see what the front office does next. Fins up!